I've seen a lot of childish videos on the best side hustles for 2023, but I have yet to see a single person break down the next real gold rush. It's time to explain to you guys how to get rich, but this journey starts by making sure you understand real wealth. I'm just gonna come out and say it. All of the side hustles in Hustlers University, they're designed to keep you trapped in the matrix. If you are trading time for money, you are destined to remain a resident of Wageyville, USA. When I say I wanna show you the best side hustles in 2023, it's because it will create real wealth for you. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you three, one, two, three actionable steps for how you can participate in this gold rush. Do you know how many losers drive Ferraris but still aren't in control of their time? Listen, freedom comes from wealth. And if you wanna get seriously wealthy with essentially zero, well, there's three things that you need to know. Come on, let's go for a ride. So number one, you need to be building equity value. Number two, you need to be in a growing industry. Number three, you need specific knowledge within that growing industry. Jay-Z has a really good song lyric in his song, The Story of OJ. You ever wonder why Jewish people own all the property in America? This is how they did it. He then goes on a tirade of straight bombs about asset ownership and equity. Jewish people often get attacked because culturally, they share the importance of asset ownership. Other cultures, like literally no other culture does this, and instead they choose to point the finger. Imagine going back to New York 100 years ago. Jay talks about a building he could have bought in Dumbo for two million. Now, that building's worth 25 million. Or even Seattle, before Amazon came to town. So here's the thing about great real estate. Great real estate exponentially increases over time because they simply aren't making more of it, and yet the demand continues to grow. But this video, it's not about real estate. This opportunity is much greater than real estate because you, my friend, you are standing in virtual New York City, and there is not yet a single tower in Billionaire's Row that has been erected. E-commerce is the next real estate. Allow for me to undeniably prove this to you 10 years before the idea enters the mainstream consciousness. Go to Amazon, type in instant coffee. Every single day, tens of thousands of shoppers come to Amazon and they also type in instant coffee. Every single brand on the front page of this search result has the equivalent to what would be a nice penthouse overlooking Central Park. Month over month, year over year, more and more people are buying their coffee online. Those brands just have to stay in stock and maintain their product quality. Sales roll in passively, just like rent, and the equity value of the company appreciates, just like a nice piece of real estate. Except like all things in the digital economy, they tend to happen way faster. I absolutely love when I hear people say, Amazon is saturated. First things first here, I don't argue with people broker than me about money, okay? I'm sorry, you know, I'm not gonna argue with people that are broker than me about money. But second, I'm gonna drop some evergreen game on you. Nashville, Tennessee wasn't a thing 30 years ago, just like Austin, Texas wasn't 15 years before that. But ask any property owner who's had a place in either market over the last decade, and they are likely very wealthy. So once more, zooming back to Amazon. Pet supplements, these also weren't a thing 10 years ago. But I have a friend, he just sold his Amazon pet supplement company for $610 million. He did that in less than six years. He just bought himself a dope plane. I think it was like 55 million. You see what I'm saying here? E-commerce brand building is simply a reflection of what is relevant in society today. Build your brand, get wealthy, and do whatever you want with your time. The fact remains, the best part about an Amazon business is that it remains relatively passive after you master a launch, and you can still run it from literally anywhere. So you're standing in NYC 100 years ago. You know real estate values are about to 100X, but you don't know how to get a loan, evaluate different neighborhoods. You basically have no idea what you're doing. And of course, you don't have any Jewish family members to show you the way. Luckily, it's 2023, we have YouTube, and you have me. 
and we are building brands. So I'm gonna give you three actionable items that you can take to go from nothing here. First things first, you need some skills. The more digitally versed you are, the better. Eventually I'll try to put out some beginner material around Amazon, but I'm swamped nowadays. And so I recommend just going to Helium 10 Academy for Amazon sellers and enrolling yourself for totally free. Take it all, take the initiative, learn the basics of how Amazon works, get up to speed, speak the language, do this as fast as you can because someone else is already getting rich. Number two, you need a brand to build and you have to find the right product. Fortunately, this is often done by looking inward. There is a lot of hate on this idea of pursuing your passions, but with Amazon, this is a luxury that you can afford. What are your main interests? What are you seeing on social media? Be an observer. Chances are one of your passions will be a viable industry. What's a product you can improve upon or a problem that you can solve? This is step two in a nutshell, but hey, let me know if you'd like to see a more expansive video on this subject. I could put one together for you guys. And then last but not least, step three. You're going to build a launch strategy with the end goal of ultimately ending up a winner on some of these key searches. The magic here is all in the launch and you wanna make sure you're subscribed because my launch video that I'm coming out with in a couple of weeks, it's gonna blow your mind. I hope this video elevated your perspective and shows you what's possible. You can't win the game if you don't know the rules, right? Amazon has put my net worth well into the eight figures and in time, I believe this will make me a billionaire. But I'm just a normal guy and I was fortunate enough to have the right mentors at the right time. So I feel like it's my duty to give back to you guys and I'm gonna keep firing here.